first of all, definition of what you're looking for. It is important to say right off the bat. All you have to do is shake the camera. So things I'm showing sure you are to not be used in a malicious uh, manner. And when it comes to guerrilla photography and taking pictures where you're not supposed to be, I think there's a large scale there. From the very innocent, like, oh, I just never revealed their secrets. Seriously, what are you doing? Like, what like this what are you doing? Smash it if that's behind the cranes and they know they shouldn't be. My philosophy is, if I'm shooting anywhere, I'm told to leave. I'll get there. I'm told to leave. I just need like 30 minutes I always want to be of excited. every morning like said, to, to be uninterrupted. So, these hacks, so I can learn stuff. Good job. Okay. A couple of these things in the past. Take like the LA River. Three. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Oh, I'm going to get it. Oh, Hey guys, it's Jen Cravazzi from Jekyll Bates, and it is unofficially the last week of summer. Yep, we are in Labor Day week, going into Labor Day weekend, and summer's last stand is here. We might have a few more hot days, we might have a lot more hot days, hard to say, but two things are definitely going to happen. The thermocline will take place, and the fall bass school is going to be on. So, a lot of stuff going on for me personally and filming and family. I've got a huge fall planned. In about three weeks of a span of time, I'm going to be in upstate New York, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and then in Florida, finishing up the three-week tour with family and friends. We're going to do a huge salmon, hopefully really good. Hopefully, I'll just keep our fingers crossed that we're going to have some really good footage from the salmon trip. Um, which is right up on Lake Ontario. And then we're gonna transition into a Maryland fall bite and a Virginia fall bite and somewhere in between, I hop on a plane with the fam and we're going to Orlando. So pretty cool. Uh, my cousin and myself grew up as sisters more or less through our early childhood and I get to revisit with her in Disney this year. So that's gonna be a absolute blast cannot wait and I'm gonna take as much footage as I can you guys should probably get a kick out of that anyways it is the week beginning update I took a day off yesterday real good day on the water lots of good footage there I'm gonna be editing that tonight after I get orders sprayed but in the meantime we've got some stuff to show you guys other than my dual personalities fighting with one another which they do on a regular basis because the work ethic in me is strong but sometimes you just need to chill so that's me describing the balance that I need to get into my life, which I don't always have. I don't think any of us do, but there it is. So, and it's probably the first time you've ever seen me in sweats and a hoodie and all that good stuff. So, hey, it is what it is. It's my morning time. And I do, I take like 30 minutes a day and I learn whatever I can, whether that's uh, watching the bass pros on TV and what they're throwing and what's working and how they're learning in the industry or whether it's uh, Peter McKinnon or Casey Neistat or, or any of the, even the Guggens, John B, John B. Rowland. So I watch a lot of my colleagues and fellow creators as often as I can. Usually it's in the late, late hours of the evening or the wee, wee hours of the morning. And I try and do it when it's just me and it's just chill time um, because most of my life is not chill time right now. But that's not a bad problem to have what we've got going on we're gonna start with this is sort of a PBJ bait um, it's it's an oops bait because there's a little I must have nicked it with my finger when I when I was um, right before I dried it and I did not notice that until I had the clear coat on it literally like okay like right now I'm noticing that uh, this is an oops bait so you guys can see this little yeah, so that's not supposed to be there. But other than that, it's pretty cool. I like the lemon yellow eyes that kind of transition into the belly of the bait. It's got that detail black magenta. It's got the shad dot. And this is going to be a killer fall bait. So this has just become my tester unless one of you guys wants it for cheap. So if you guys are interested in getting this bait for probably like 10 bucks, um, because the workmanship has still gone into it, it's still a killer medium diver. 
uh, this duo pressing from Dinger, I would be more than happy to see it go to a good home. So just let me know. Next, we've got an order. This is a distressed crappie. You guys have seen this before. Love the red veining on the bottom. So we're not going to spend a whole bunch of time on stuff that you guys have seen throughout this summer. Uh, but this is one of the most popular in the summertime. Love those. And, and actually going into the fall, a lot of people are ordering the distressed stuff in the fall only because it imitates a wounded and or dying or, you know, the shad die off. The crappie are chased heavily because the bass are schooling up. So there's a lot of stuff that happens in the fall, and this is a really good alternative to some of the other baits that might be out there. Fall's right around the corner. Where's my hunters? Fall camo is back. And this is actually a pretty effective color. Green in the fall, late summer, fall, even into the winter. It kind of looks like a pickerel if it were going through the water. But I did this just specifically for... My, my dual purpose folks that are anglers and hunters and at military it's it's kind of a tribute to all of that i served in the military most of you guys know that i was combat medic in the army the united states army reserves i served in fort sam houston texas and in lancaster my reserve unit was um, a medical unit and i did not go fight overseas like some of my high school friends and colleagues did but um, I did serve, and I'm very proud to have served, and I'm very proud of, of all of you guys that have served as well. So this Labor Day, um, take a moment to thank a service member for their undying gratitude to our country. The Pink Belly Ice Crawl. Not only is it a good walleye pattern, but it's also a really good bass pattern. Smallmouth, as you will see in my video forthcoming this week, love pink. Um, so this is a killer pattern for smallmouth, whether you're in the north or the south, east or the west. Um, just an all-around good shallow diver. But the walleye tend to really key in on these colors as well. So one of my fave patterns. And I have not sprayed this one in a little while, so it's nice to see this coming back. But can always tell my customers by the seasons and the stuff that they buy. So this is definitely one of those and uh, love this bait love 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 this bait got a wildfire shad and it's almost hard to control the colors in the light and i'm really not trying to do anything crazy with it but it's just that's how loud this bait is these these fluorescent colors really really hit you hard and it's a great profile bait it's great in stained water your brighter colors um all around this is just a cool bait and i don't know that i could I could probably filter this a little bit, maybe there, and get your truer colors. I just put a filter on this lens. Um, so hopefully, there we go. That's that's what the bait looks like. It's not all bleached out like what you just saw on camera. But it's a really good fade from an iridescent and fluorescent red up into an orange into a yellow and the fluorescent green. It's got that crackle pattern on it, which is done with a metallic metal mesh and your wildfire shad dot cool eyes love those eyes as well so did that on the order as well as the fire tiger crackle wildfire the 12 words that make up the name of this one no this is just a wildfire tiger uh, is what it's called on the website and it's also available and both of these patterns are available in this dinger s and also in the 2.5 or 1.5 whatever size you guys prefer makes a good smaller presentation on a 1.5 as well and there's still plenty of real estate to get the job done and make the pattern up so that's another thing if you guys see a pattern that you like and you don't see it on the specific lure that's on the website hit me up let me know I'll be happy to help you out not sure what that is on the bait but it's gone now those things happen the magic of filming is not going to make that one disappear. That is that. You guys are just ordering and ordering and ordering these European Hornets. I love making them. They're just a ton of fun to make. So, the latest on the 2.5 with the black legs, red face, European Hornet. Got a couple more to show you guys. Um, this one. You know this one, the red discus. Heavily ordered item. 
Very colorful item, good profile bait, but also a good pattern as well. And then I've got a couple of these. One is a holographic, they're separate orders. Uh, one, this one here belongs to the rest of this order. And then this one is part of another order, which is drying on the clear coat rack. We're waiting on a t-shirt and the stickers to come in. Folks, I got new stickers coming in. They're killer, they're the flag, the Jekyll flag. I love, I'm in love with that sticker. Um, and the t-shirts as well. So that brings me to the end of the video and almost the end of the video. Labor Day sale is gonna be revealed today. We're getting the advertising done. It should be shot to Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and also YouTube. We're just going to do a community. Um, it's 20% off and it's going to be 20% off of everything. Everything including apparel. So it's time to start thinking about those fall hoodies. The beanies. I've got beanies are back this year sure you guys take advantage of the labor day sale it is a doozy it is the highest percentage off that we've had all year long and it's waiting for you go get it have a great day thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit on jekyll baits i will see you guys on the next one cheers This is, this is like Jenga for fishing hooks. This is 